Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Predator Virtual CNC software. I'll be showing a high level demonstration of Predator Virtual CNC focusing on GNM code verification as well as machine simulation for both mill and lathe CNC machines. For more information, please visit our website at www.predator-software.com. Scroll down to Predator Virtual CNC Click on the Learn More tab. Here you will see information as it pertains to Predator Virtual CNC software. For instance, if I have a Fanuc based CNC machine control, click on the Got Fanuc CNCs. Here you will see detailed information and support for the Fanuc CNC machine control, such as supported G codes, supported M codes, and even Fanuc custom macro A and B support. So a little bit more about Predator's Virtual CNC software. Predator Virtual CNC is software designed to simulate and verify the operation of your CNC machines on your PC. By simulating the machining process offline, you save money, time, scrapped parts, broken tools, and machine crashes while improving safety and productivity. So let's have a little bit deeper look at Predator Virtual CNC. Today we're going to be using jobs. Jobs consist of the following. In order to use the jobs feature, you have to have an NC program, a machine, stock, and tools, all of which are configurable. I could add a CNC program from an existing file folder, or I could write one by hand using the included CNC editor software. I would then select the machine I want to run the program on. I would then select the stock. I would then select my tools. Of course, there's more details in each one of these tabs, but again, this is a high level demonstration. After you have selected the job, simply click OK. It will process that information. And in this case, we will see fixture and stock. In order to start the back plot or the simulation, simply click the play button. If back plot is something that you recommend, you require toggle this on or toggle it off. We're going to toggle it on. Our options here, we have the ability to show our control panel, our CNC panel, our error logs, our breakpoints, our variables, and our registries. Each one of these we can turn on or off. We also have a play control or an animation. We can go slow, medium, and fast. We have an image quality for our low, medium, and high. We're going to be focusing on high and medium. We also want to check for tool crashes or stop on a tool crash. We don't have the need to stop for a tool change. We do want to check the holder and we do want to display the holder in this case. We will then come up and select the play button. Here you can see that there is the G code and M code that we were going to be simulating. I click play. We're now reading line by line. In the example of this program, there are no errors. We will later be showing a program that has errors. While the machining process is taking place, I can simply move this around. You can see that the simulation pauses. When I let go, it continues. We can zoom in and out. We can move from side to side. Zoom to fit. And other views as well. Fast forwarding. We now have the ability to view a setup sheet in its details. Back to the CNC or virtual CNC software. We will now select a different job 
from our examples folder. All of these examples are included in the virtual CNC software. We will select 2D ribs crash. Again, this is another mill example, but in this case, it has some errors. We will make sure that our error log is on. We will make sure that we depress our back plot and we simply depress play. We are stopping on each tool crash as on purpose. If that's something that we don't want to see, we simply uncheck this and hit the play button. We'll still collect those errors, but we won't stop. Again, changing our view as needed. Fast forward. We also have the ability to scroll up to the very top of our errors, double click, and it'll bring us right straight to that line of code. If we need to edit that, we simply click on our editor. Predator CNC editor is launched, and it brings us up to that program. We would simply then edit that specific line of code. In this case, this program here. Again, we have the ability to export a setup sheet. We're going to show the results at the tool changes. This way, it's going to give us detailed information of our stock, our tools, and even whether or not we've had any crashes or not. As in here, it shows us one through 10. These are our collisions. Going back to Predator Virtual CNC, any one of these examples, we can add a machine simulation by simply toggling the machine simulation on or off, or within a separate window, we can add that machine simulation as well. And enlarge this window. We can make these windows custom if we want, minimizing one and or the other. In this case, here's our machine. Here's our machine view and so on. We can then spin this around to the front. We can zoom to fit. That's to the side. Here's the front of our machine. Zoom in, and we can depress the, the rewind and play button, and we can now see the tools and the machine. Okay, same thing can be done on our other example as well. Close here, back to our plate. And here, toggle the machine, zoom to fit, move this around a little bit. Always like an upside down machine here. And zoom in, zoom out, press our back plot, hit play, go to medium, rewind, push play. We can now see tool path and machine simulation. Instead of seeing the tool moving around the part, we're seeing the simulation of the machine. Okay. So let's have a look at a lathe part. You simply come in here to open jobs, go to our example file folder again, go to our lathe examples, and we're gonna focus on the Fanuc. Okay, we're gonna select the first one here. And here we'll click okay. Now here we're showing machine versus non-machine simulation. So machine simulation in this case is showing the tools and showing the chuck. We don't have the envelope of the machine and the ways and whatnot, but this is the machine view for lathe. Click play. 
Again, various different views. You choose your view, zooming in, zooming out. Again, this is a high level demonstration of what the capabilities of the software are. Only just touching on a few. We can stop this. Again, we can add the back plot if we wish. And depress play. We now have the back plot. We do not care about seeing the spindle and we just want to see the part and or the tool. We simply depress the machine view and press play. Now it's just giving us the raw stock. Rewind and do this again. So there you have it. This is both a G-code and M-code simulation for mill and lathe, Predator Virtual CNC software. There's a lot more features of the software. I would encourage you to contact your uh, sales associate, your account executive, and inquire about the Predator Virtual CNC software. You can do this if you don't know who they are by clicking on our Contact Us page on our web page and go down to uh, contact us there's various different emails and phone numbers there again this has been a demonstration of predator virtual cnc software i thank everyone so much for watching the video and again if you have any questions please reach out to us at www.predator-software.com forward slash predator contact us thank you again